You asked why the Bronx uh, produced so much musically. And of course, it's the birthplace of hip hop. It was one of the epicenters of doo-wop, Latin jazz, salsa. I grew up in the Bronx at a time when salsa music was in full swing and full regalia. There was music everywhere. It was really, really thriving. In the old days, you learned how to play in school, in school. I mean, we took it seriously. At every corner, there was a different band rehearsing. There were lots of clubs, the 845 Club, Kenny's, Freddy's. It was nothing to see these bands play in the streets. You would see Tito Winter playing. They would block off the street and have a festival. The Bronx was happening, man. I mean, I can't sell you enough on it. There was a point when the Bronx started decaying. A lot of people decided to leave the Bronx. Well, the Bronx music scene changed because of the poverty, because of what was going on. I mean, a couple of things are different. One, in the 1970s, the music programs were removed from the school. Two, it's not possible to use the streets as a venue the way people once did. And three, there aren't the clubs. There were 65 clubs in the, in the Bronx back in those days. Today, we have none. But slowly but surely, the Bronx is back on an upswing and it's being revitalized. There's still a significant amount of Latin music. There's still a lot of hip hop being created. Hip hop was born in the Bronx. Um, this is the birthplace of the rhymes, the graffiti artists, all the elements. Hip hop is a voice of the oppressed, of the poor, of people who are struggling. And there's still a really vibrant underground community. It's happening, it's just happening in a different way. The Bronx Music Heritage Center is a cultural institution that's a project of WEDCO. And our goal really is to preserve and to promote Bronx music, Bronx musicians. The vision is really have it be an outward looking building that's a part of a campus. Bronx Commons will include the Bronx Music Heritage Center and will also include green affordable housing that will have apartments that are set aside for elder musicians. The Bronx Music Heritage Center is just going to change the whole game create a space central and pivotal to the art and to the information of hip-hop and Latin jazz and different cultures. The main thing that it will bring will be a tremendous sense of, of, of pride. Awareness. It'll let people know that the Bronx is not dead. Some of these people who right. make the records, they're still living in the Bronx. The connections between the generations is really exciting. And we just need people to have the opportunity to express themselves and live within their cultures and respect their heritage and pass it on. The whole community with yeah. that as its center, that would be like the old days. I mean, that used to be normal. The school had a music center and the community came around that. It's an absolutely priceless innovation in, in, in terms of bringing music back to a community with this rich heritage. To bring back the majesty that was music in the Bronx. So this is your house here in the Bronx. I got my money.